Welcome, JD. It might just be you and me live, but I'll record this for anyone else too. And it is informal today. Since it's just you, I don't even care if you put your name in the thing. But if you want to um, ask a question or something, just unmute yourself and ask. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Google Classroom. I just wanted to touch base on a couple of things. So here's our Google Classroom for this week. And kind of back to what is going on this week, Mr. Rio, especially since you ditched out on two of the Zoom sessions. Well, one, we had the internet down and yesterday just everything in the world was deadlining. I'm doing a student of the month video at an HCTV deadline and work on B variety. So it's keeping me extremely crazy busy. Okay. So week 13, first thing I want to just remind everybody, you should have done this by now, but, and that is the Excel pretest. I can tell by looking at this, that about half of you have not done it. I want you to do this before you do anything in Excel with me. I don't want you doing the Excel assignment. I want to know what you know, before you do Excel. So some of you might be thinking, Mr. Rio, shouldn't I learn some Excel before I do an Excel test? No, this is a pretest. It's to find out what you know. What I want you to do is honestly put down any that you know or guess and any that you don't know. If you read the directions, you're supposed to put down, I don't know, or you can abbreviate that with IDK, which stands for I don't know. Um, if you leave them blank, then I'm not going to give you 20 points. So you might say, Mr. Rio, what if I did I don't know on all of them? Well, if you do write I don't know or IDK on all of them, yeah, you'll get your 20 points because maybe you honestly don't know. Okay, we use this for data. So there'll come a point you'll take the same test after we've covered everything. And then hopefully by then you'll know them all or most of them. So that'll be coming up later in a few weeks, like three weeks. But for right now, you just do the Excel pretest. If there's any you do know, I do want you to put down the answers or guess if you think. And if there's any you don't know, then just put IDK or I don't know, and that's it. Real simple. Take you probably five minutes. Okay, so the nine of you have not done that. Make sure you get that done today. Um, this Excel assignment was incredibly simple. You only have to make one document. I'm going to open up the PDF sample. Okay, there's a video goes with this as to how to make it and everything. You can use any version of Excel. You can use the full version of Excel. You can use the online only version of Excel. The only thing is, you know, when you go with different versions of Excel, it might look a little bit different or the online version may not have quite all the features. What I think I'm going to do for the other Excel lessons, because there's really nothing I need the full version for. And so since some of you may be easier for you to get to the online version, and that's one I can get to also, I can make some tutorials for that. Now, because this class is also kind of more of a computer use class, so it's not the more advanced, moving faster computer lit class. Now, some of you that are in the class were supposed to be in computer lit, and some of you are supposed to be in computer use. They couldn't run two classes. So they said, why don't you just run one class and make it a little more like a computer use class and, um, you know, take it from there. So I will be doing, uh, we get into some more lessons with Excel. I'll, I might use the online version because the basics are going to be the same no matter what. And should someone have a Mac, you know, you can get Excel for Mac too. So, but all we're doing here is we're opening up a new Excel document. These are called rows and columns. The columns are like A, B, C, D. The rows like one, two, three, four, five. You can adjust the width of these. If you go up here between them, like between A and B and B and C, they'll become a double arrow. Now you're not seeing it for me right now because I'm on a PDF. But if you're actually in Excel, you can drag these and you're going to put your name and budget. You don't put my name, put your name. You're going to put categories. Now it doesn't really matter. You notice how I started mine in B5. Uh, this is called a cell reference, like B5. I could have started it in A5. I just did because I thought it looked nicer having it in a little bit. So, But you don't have to necessarily start the exact same cell that I do, though if you do, it'll probably be easier for you because you can see what we do here. Now, we did a budget here. Um, we had some categories. We have some dollar amounts. And then we put in some uh, formulas or functions to calculate this. So that's all in the tutorial. So I'm not going to do that here right now. That's in the tutorial. And then down here, you have a sheet. When you open up this whole thing called a workbook, you have a sheet, just name budget, and that's it. 
That's all you're doing on this one. And then you're going to submit it. So you're going to do these functions here, which you'll have to watch the tutorial to do. And you got this here to do. And it's really, really easy. Probably take you 20 minutes, if that. So, so I gave you your first regular Excel assignment, quite simple. Now, this one here, we're also going to sim simultaneously be doing, talking about the, the World Wide Web and the Internet. And there's two little, little tiny short videos. There's not even that much work this week to do. I give you a pretty light week. You got two three-minute videos. One is what is the internet? One is, one is the, what is the World Wide Web? I want you to understand a few basic facts. Number one, the internet is just a network of networks around the world. That's it. Harper Creek has a network. We plug into Merit, which is a network that connects schools in Michigan. They plug into the regular internet. And then depending on, say you send an email to a friend at a company in London, they have a network at their company. They're plugged in the internet through somebody. And so the email leaves us, it goes through all the internet, all these networks connected to each other and it arrives at someone else's computer. That's the internet, okay? Now the internet was around since the 1960s. The web has only been around since the 1990s. So you might say, now what's the deal, Mr. Rio? What's up with the web versus the internet? The web is on the internet, okay? So the most common use of everything we do on the internet is on the World Wide Web. So if you open up a web browser and you go to a website or you email through a web browser or website, yep, you are, um, you are part of the web and on the internet at the same time. So everything you do on the web is also being done on the internet but you could theoretically do some things on the internet without being on the web. Some older software, you don't hear much about anymore, but we, I've been on the internet without being on the web. And I won't go into what it's like, it was a long, long time ago. Um, so nowadays, mostly when we talk about the web, you're thinking about the internet at the same time. But technically they are two different things that are connected together. So you watch both videos, one on the web and one on the internet, it doesn't really matter what order you watch them. You open up this little this document here that I shared with everybody, and you just go through here and explain some things that you learn from each one. There's some questions here, and that's not hard at all. If you run into a bind over what to write on some of these, I mean, the video should be plenty, but you can always do a Google search on the web or the internet to give you some ideas of things you can write about, okay? Uh, now, on the internet one, it's going to be a little confusing. You're going to say, like, what is ARPANET? Well, back in the 1960s, the U.S. government wanted to network military computers in case there was a nuclear war. They wanted computers in Washington or New York to talk to computers in Chicago or Los Angeles or Dallas or wherever they may be. So uh, the main thing they started to do was how do we set up a network? Not only so they can all communicate on computers to each other, which are fairly new at the time, but they also, if part of the network went down, say a nuclear war broke out and they knocked out Chicago, we want everything to route through Dallas. The internet or what became the internet, that time called ARPANET, could reconfigure right away to include that information, go some other route, okay? So the ARPANET was a precursor of the internet and they eventually became called the internet in the 1970s. So that's the connection to it. it started in 1960s. And the only goal was to network government computers. That was it. At first it was only the US government was on it. Then they let universities, someone working with the government get on it. Then they let some businesses that work with the government get on it. And then eventually it played a role in not only our whole country getting on by the nineties, but other countries starting to get on. So it's been mostly since about the late eighties or nineties that the big web type stuff has been around. So we got the internet, we got the web. So if you got questions on that, you let me know. Um, that's pretty much it. Pretty short week, pretty light. I just wanted to touch base today so you didn't forget about you or I forget about you or you forget about me. Uh, so get that pre-test in, do your budget. It's really easy. And then just, you know, st start now if you get this and you can... Um, you know, get this World Wide Web and let's see how many people got these in. Only five do. So 12 of you still got to do the World Wide Web and the internet videos in this assignment. So it's really easy. These are short to the point videos. 
you can always look up more information elsewhere on the web and get that done. So as we go into next week, we'll have a few more Excel assignments. We'll have um, more stuff we'll be doing on relating to the internet and the World Wide Web. And we're going to be doing that for a while. We're going to be doing Excel stuff for at least two more weeks. And we'll be doing stuff about internet and web and all that for at least probably three more weeks. So we'll see. We're running out fast. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing. Um, we only had Jotty here, so thanks for coming. If you got any questions, just unmute yourself and ask. Other than that, I think I'm all set here. So, so, okay, thank uh, you. yep, thank you. And everybody, watch HCTV. I put the link on our Google Classroom. And B Variety, the version we're doing this year, is going to be coming out Saturday. So, everybody, have a great weekend. Take care.